The story of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, smashing and destroying idols. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, was gifted and blessed with knowledge from Allah from a very young age, before he was even a prophet. He knew idol worship was wrong and evil. Prophet Abraham's father used to carve idols from wood and stone. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, advised and urged his father to stop worshipping idols and to worship the one and only true God, Allah, the Glorious. But his father did not listen and arrogantly continued his ways. Prophet Abraham told his father that the idols he would make and worship would not benefit or harm him in any way. His father got fed up and commanded his son Prophet Abraham to leave his house or to be stoned. Prophet Abraham responded, Peace be with you. I will ask Allah to forgive you and I will leave you. Prophet Abraham would prove to the people that idol worship was wrong and would remind them that only Allah was in control of everything and is the only one that can give life and death. But they rejected his advice and responded, We worship idols just like our forefathers did and we will remain devoted to them. They rejected Prophet Abraham. Prophet Abraham stood against society for truth and justice and he had to do it alone, but he knew God was on his side. After Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, lost hope of his people, on a day where there was a festival celebration attended by all of the people, he snuck into their temple where the idols were and smashed all of the idols with a sharp axe, except for the largest one. He then hung the axe around the neck of the big idol. He wanted to prove to the people that worshipping idol was foolish. The idols couldn't even help themselves. How could they help each other? When the idol worshippers returned to their temple, they were in shock to see their idols smash into the ground and began to discuss among themselves who could have done this. Prophet Abraham's name came up as they remembered he did not approve of idol worship. They asked Prophet Abraham if he had done this in which he replied, Why don't you ask the big idol who did it? They replied, You already know they do not speak. Then Prophet Abraham replied, Then why do you worship them if they cannot benefit or harm you? Why don't you think and reason? They thought to themselves, What if they were wrong here and Prophet Abraham is right? But then their stubbornness and arrogance got the better of them and they continued their evil ways. They chained Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and dug a deep pit, filled it with firewood and ignited it to throw Prophet Abraham in it for what he had done. The fire was so large they couldn't even get near it. Then Angel Gabriel came down to Prophet Abraham and asked him, O oh Abraham, do you wish for anything? Prophet Abraham replied, Not from you. He knew all help comes from Allah and that Allah was going to help him and get him out of this. As they threw Prophet Abraham into the huge fire, God the Almighty the all-powerful commanded the fire to be cool and safe for Prophet Abraham. The fire submitted to its creator. The flames were still there and the fire burnt the chains off. But the fire did not burn Prophet Abraham nor did it feel hot nor harmed Prophet Abraham. He was sitting in the fire that turned into a garden for him. The fire became cool for him. The crowd was watching the fire from a distance and the smoke nearly suffocated them. Prophet Abraham glorified and praised Allah the Almighty. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, walked out of the fire peacefully. When you place your trust in Allah, Allah will be enough for you and will get you out of any situation that you are in. After this, he migrated to another land with his wife Sarah and Hagab to worship Allah.